are here because the outside world rejects you. This is your family. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another Turtles Updates video where we talk about a bunch of turtle stories that have popped up in the past few weeks that we haven't yet covered on the channel and put them all together in one video. In this one, we got some movie news, video game stuff, comic stuff, pretty much new updates on all the different mediums. So let's waste no more time and jump right on in. All right, so let's start off with some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie reboot news. There's actually two different stories. So let's jump into the first one and then we'll jump into the second one. This is coming over here from Variety. And you can see right there, it's pretty much an interview uh, with Paramount Chief Brian Robbins just on everything going on at the studio with the success of Top Gun Maverick and all that kind of stuff. But they do talk about the turtles in this interview. So let's go ahead and go down to that. So the turtles are mentioned in two different parts here in the interview. Uh, this first one's pretty interesting and just kind of gives you an idea of what they're thinking big picture here. And it says, going forward, I'm focused on our franchises. We are fortunate in that we have amazing franchises, which we need to lean into. We have adult franchises like Mission Impossible, A Quiet Place, Transformers, and Star Trek, and we have family franchises with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Spongebob. You've got to have multi-year plans for these franchises. You can't just make a movie and see how it does and then decide to make another one because if you do that, it will be years between sequels. Like Sonic, we're trying to take a spin-off character, Knuckles, and do a mini-series on Paramount+, Plus, which will transition us into the third Sonic movie with lots of Easter eggs. That planning is what I'm focused on as well as filling out the slate with filmmakers makers that we're passionate about who want to tell stories that they have passion for okay yeah so that kind of makes sense with what they had announced earlier this year with more villain driven turtles movies coming to paramount plus after the seth rogan movie which i imagine would all be in the same universe now reading all this and i believe it was also hinted at in the past that that was the case so yeah for those who don't know that was something they did announce earlier this year but let's move on to the other part of this interview where they talk about the turtles and that's down here they ask seth rogan is producing a new teenage mutant ninja turtle What's the plan for rebooting the series? And this was his answer. It says, it's animated. It's going back to the roots of the turtles. Seth and his producing partner, Evan Goldberg, were brilliant choices because no one can tell stories about being teenagers better than those guys. They're passionate and super nerdy about the turtles. It's going to work for kids, parents, Gen Zers, and millennials. This next part's where we have some pretty new interesting details. It says, we have plans to do multiple animated movies this way. So it looks like they're going to be doing quite a bit in this Seth Rogen Turtles universe by the looks of things. Anyways, then it says, but one day we might go back to a live action version of the turtles which i thought was good news by the way i think a lot of fans want to see the turtles in live action especially if they resemble the 1990 turtles in some type of way i think that would make a lot of people happy if that was the way they look but yeah not too much new info here but kind of gives you an idea of where their mind's at at this current time with the turtles all right let's jump into that second one thank you twitter user dan the main man 97 for sending this over to me and this is coming from someone that appears to have been at the Annecy Festival. I believe that's where they show off new projects and stuff. For those who weren't here around the time, I remember Rise of the TMNT got a lot of stuff shown off at this festival back in the day when it was coming out. And it does look like they have shown some stuff off there as well for this Seth Rogen movie reboot. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this person said that they saw. And this is Twitter user, forgive my pronunciation, Medu. And it looks like they're a content manager. And I believe they were probably part of the press that was there. It says this was uh, their favorite announcement by far. And then it says we've seen things from the TMNT movie produced by James Weaver, Evan Goldberg, and Seth Rogen from Point Grey Pictures. So it says director Jeff Rowe had a message presenting the movie, the tone, the visual style, 3D, and some test footage. So yeah, it looks like maybe uh, director Jeff Rowe maybe sent like a video or something talking about it and it showed off some of this stuff. Uh, let's keep going here to the second part of the thread and it says Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is set to be released on August 2023. There are new techniques created to give a new creative freedom. And then it says kind of like building a 3D character with 2D character sketches, but keeping some lines outside of it. Interesting. It also has a comic book feel. Now let's go to the third part. It says the first thing that came to mind was the Spider-Verse movie with the frame skips and some effects of surprises. And as far as I remember, Rose said they drew the turtles the way they would draw themselves. So it got a lot of ideas. Interesting. Then it says, in terms of character design, we can see their iris under their headband and it's not just white. So you can see like their whole eyes and stuff and the colors are vibrant. They blended the best elements from previous iterations to put into their new look. And then it says it's all about, and then this is like in quotes, amplifying their world and focusing on the teenage part. So yeah, there you go. Let me know down below what you think about all that. 
Now, there's not too many other people that talk about what they saw, just a few websites, but there was this person who is Raphael Motomayor. It looks like they were also at Annecy, and they say, we saw about 30 seconds of the new TMNT movie, and it looks rad. And then he says down here, this was the Seth Rogen one for your information. So yeah, it looks like people are liking what they're seeing. If anything else comes out about this stuff that was shown off, we'll go ahead and talk about it here. All right, let's do some video game news here with a little bit more of Shredder's Revenge news. As you can see here, does look like they will be releasing the original game soundtrack. You can see it right here in this post. It says, to all our Turtle fans out there, we are proud and happy to reveal that TMNT Shredder's Revenge original soundtrack by T. Lopez will have physical editions on vinyl and CD. Pre-orders open soon. And then you can see them right there and on their website as well. There's going to be a limited edition vinyl that looks like it has some extra artwork and the vinyls are green. Then you have the regular vinyl and then also it'll come on CD. Recently as well, they released this song titled We Ain't Came to Lose with special guests from the Wu-Tang Clan and Beats by T. Lopez and the song is really good and they posted that up on their Twitter page here Kid Katana Records so go check that out if you haven't checked that out yet also while we're on the subject of Shredder's Revenge you can see right here from the CEO and executive producer over at the Temu that the game reviews are in and it looks like everybody's liking the game so if you weren't already hyped for this this will definitely get you excited but but yeah that's pretty much all the news on shredder's revenge uh by the time this thing comes out i think the game will be released already so i'll get some gameplay up on the channel in the next couple days or so but let's move on to the next story all right this next one has to do with the future of the last ronin comic series uh this is coming over here from cbr.com they did an interview with tom waltz and they asked him a bunch of questions about the idw turtles and the last ronin and something here towards the end of the interview I thought was a pretty neat tease. They ask the final issue ends with an epilogue and the to be continued. So for those who haven't read the last Ronin comic, I guess spoiler warning, but for those of you who have, if you remember at the end, they do show four new baby turtles and it looks like they are being given some of the ooze to mutate. Anyways, the question continues with, are there plans for a sequel that explores this world further? Is that last image setting up an attempt to make new mutants or to literally bring back the original turtles, which that second one I thought was an interesting angle. I hadn't thought of that one before. Anyways, then he answers and says, oh, standby sports fans. I can't give specifics yet, but suffice to say, we are not done with what we are now lovingly calling the Roninverse. So there you go. They are going to keep going. And this is the Roninverse. And then it says big announcements coming soon. So we'll keep a lookout for that. See what those big announcements are. That sounds exciting. Cannot wait to see what they have in store. But yeah, go check out this interview. It's pretty cool. All right, let's move on over to the next story. All right, next, let's talk about some NECA Turtles news. Uh, here we have a reveal of what the next Ninja Turtles Universal Monsters crossover figure will be. And it is Donatello as the Invisible Man. This is from over here at ToyHypeUSA.com. I'm not sure where it was originally posted, but you could just see the packaging there. And it looks like this was just a tease. We haven't got a look at the actual figure itself yet. But yeah, we do know that this is going to be what Donatello is going to be in this line. For those who don't know, we've already had Michelangelo as the mummy, Leonardo as the hunchback, Raphael as Frankenstein, and April O'Neil as the bride of Frankenstein. And yeah, now we got this first look at Donatello as the Invisible Man. And we got another look at another figure in this line. And that was over here from uh, the NECA official Instagram page. And you can see Splinter as Van Helsing, I believe. So it looks like we know who he's going to be mashed up with. And there's not much info on him either. This is also just a teaser image. But yeah, for those who are wondering who the next characters were going to be in that line, that's who it is. And one more thing, I believe, I don't know if these are still available as I don't see anything on their site, but we got to look at the convention exclusive for Comic-Con and what it would be. Uh, looks like it's over here. It's this four pack of Baxter Stockman, I believe Hamato Yoshi, and Bebop and Rock City before they're mutated. All right, let's move on over to the next story. All right, this next one's coming over here from Funko Pop News. You can see it says San Diego Comic Con reveals part eight. Funko shows off the new and upcoming TMNT Funko Pops. And you can see them right there. It is 
the Turtles from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Power Rangers crossover comic, at least Leonardo and Donatello so far. Let me pull that up a little bit bigger there. So you can see Leo's the Blue Ranger, Donatello's the Black Ranger. And you can see here it is limited edition. It looks like specifically just for Comic-Con. And then you could see down here on this separate post, it says, we of course need a full set of TMNT Power Rangers crossover. So it looks like we will be getting the rest of the Turtles as well. And I would imagine Green Ranger Shredder too. So that's something to look forward to. Uh, that's a quick one. Let's move on over to the next one. All right, we're looking at this one over here at comicbook.com. And these have been shown off since our last updates video. We didn't get a chance to talk about them there, but you can see it right here. Uh, Capcom Playmates and Nickelodeon are teaming up for a new action figure collaboration pitting the cast of Street Fighter against the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And you can see it right there. Uh, it's those familiar Playmates molds that we see them use for a lot of stuff, but they have a different paint design on them. And the smile is something that really stands out. Uh, you can see here, they've shown off, I believe, two of the pairings already. We have Leonardo and Ryu, and you have Michelangelo and Chun-Li. I don't believe we've gotten a look at the other two pairings. We'll go ahead and talk about them as soon as we see what that's going to look like. There's not too much more info. It does see down here that they will be six inches tall, offering multiple points of articulation. But at this time, the MSRP or the price for the two packs has not been revealed. So yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and share those images with you guys. Let me know down below what you think. Uh, let's move on over to the next story. All right, and last couple stories here, we'll just kind of go through them real quick. Uh, this one over here is coming from Smite, the video game, and you can see a new picture there of Slash. Looks like he's coming to the game. I think he might be available now. Yeah, it says right there, available in the Kawabunga chest. You can get this skin now. And yeah, I thought it was a pretty cool picture. I think you get a better look at it here from the voice actor uh, for Slash. He posted this up, and you could see just like a full image of it, and that looks really cool. I really love his design here. And last bit of news here, uh, this one is over here from Netflix. It looks like Ninja Turtles, the 2012 show, and the Rise of the TMNT, I believe the first season of each show, is on Netflix now. So for those who want to go check those out and have Netflix, those are up now. And I believe the 2012 show has been trending for a while now on like TV shows. So yeah, it's really cool to see the Turtles get love there over on Netflix. But that about does it for the updates. I, we're pretty much caught up on everything. So if any new stories come out, we'll go ahead and talk about them in future videos. Uh, working on some stuff that I think you guys are going to enjoy. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new. Hit thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Follow on all the social medias. Links are down below in the description. And I will see you guys in a little bit with another video. Take care. Armed.